definitely uh, turn the tides if they play again in the future. Yeah, uh, yeah. Congrats to both really players. Cool. It didn't even take that long to, to pick up, so no. I'm, I'd be excited to see a rematch of that. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing seeing wheels go go to training mode try some more stuff out um if he, if he even settles on alex i've heard he's been playing a bunch of characters since he's new with the game um but uh, i hope he finds a character that he likes and uh yeah i, I look forward to seeing the next match mm. let me see who's up next I believe it is uh bacon bolts and daka uh, yeah uh, and these these two are uh, definitely been playing, I think, a little more than the last two, and and are uh, yeah. You'll, you'll see some more special moves, especially uh, Daka in particular. Really, heard, really likes really really likes to DP. Yeah, I've heard Daka is uh, kind of infamous for the uh, the 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 DP by Nikali. Um and so I I think that as a result. Um, a lot of this matchup is going to come down to how well Bacon can punish him for doing that because um, DPs in this game, when you block them, you get a crush counter punish, which are the most damaging types of punishes in the game. Um, so I think it is uh, really going to be beneficial for Bacon if he can um, get those punishes off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I might, I might so, to see Bacon more because that's that's. That's new to me. Uh, yeah, so he is using Laura, and, and I think it's new to him. And uh, I play a lot of Laura, so uh, I, I love watching Laura. Um, I love watching Idom and uh, Yawn, um, who is uh, both, both very, very phenomenal Laura players. And uh, so it'll, it'll be very interesting to see this match. Um, is Laura but... similar to, to Chun? Because Bacon played Chun oh. previously. Oh, they're, 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 they're pretty different. Uh, Chun is more of like a zoner. Okay. Um, uh, Chun you, uh, has like really good normal buttons that like take up a lot of space and, and they're very quick, um, like her standing heavy punch. So she's very good at poking people. And Laura is a, a kind of a, a dumb grappler that like gets up in your face and does 50-50s until you're dead. Okay. Um, very different play style. Um, but uh, we'll see. Um, uh, so she is using V Trigger 2. Um, which is not as common. Generally, oh, lack of punish there on the uh, on the disc's guidance. Oh, good challenge, but she, he tr looks like he tried to I cancel it there. there. Uh, yeah. Oh, Doc is okay. Overhead from Daka. Now she didn't punish the sweep there. It, uh, it looked like earlier he was trying to cancel the light. Oh, there's the DP, but no punish from Bacon. And this is really what I was talking about earlier. The lack of punish from Bacon is really going to um, turn this matchup in Daka's favor because it's just going to, oh, wow, what a great punish. Or, or what, what, a, what a great uh, combo there. Um, if he can do that when Daka jumps in, then uh, or when Daka DPs, then uh, this matchup will immediately turn around. Um, but uh, we're seeing a lot of jump-ins from da Daka, and uh, uh, Bacon Bolts hasn't been anti-airing. Laura has great anti-air. No, uh, standing, uh, standing medium punch is a fantastic anti-air, um, and uh, so is uh, her uh, quarter circle forward heavy punch move. Um, both fantastic. Oh, and there we see another DP from Daka. Oh, and, jump over okay. and vomit into the yeah. game grab. What a deal. Good jump-in. This, so, this is the other thing about uh, Daka is that he... For a while, he, he had some keyboard issues and he couldn't grab. He couldn't grab or V-scope. He wouldn't let him push two keys at once. That is so, hilarious. So grabbing against Doctor has always been a great strategy. A <laughs> fantastic strategy. Uh, that's very funny. Oh, wow, okay. So, takes so, the round. Uh, Bacon, uh, Bacon lands the jump and doesn't combo, but takes the round anyway. Um, so I, what I'd like to see on both sides is Bacon needs to start punishing these DPs more. Um, it, it's very clear that it's a, a, a trend for Daka, mm -hmm. and um, uh, so he needs to start punishing it with uh, this uh, Laura's standing heavy punch to get the, that nice crush counter. Um, yeah, the good news Daka's, is, waking, Daka's waking up DP almost yeah, all the time. He's waking up DP, he's doing a lot of random DPs, and um, the good news is a lot of good jump-ins, and because it seems like uh, Daka's having a hard time anti-airing them too with Nikali's DP. So yeah, uh, we're, seeing a, lot of, we're seeing a lot of uncontested jumps, and uh, Bacon's actually going to take first uh, game with the uh, uh, the uh, the new Laura, new Laura showing out. Um, so yeah, so I think we need to see some more anti airs on Bacon's side with the standing medium punch. 
um, which mm -hmm. is such a great anti-air button. And uh, um, we need to see those punishes on those DPs. And Daka, I think, okay, set up. What has he got? Okay. That was a very good tech on Bacon Bolt's side. Very good reaction. I got hit by the puke. Okay. There's another one of those blocked DPs, but again, we don't see the punish from Bacon. Part of that's character and familiarity. So he's really going to need to use the uh, that standing heavy punch into the medium bowl. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. He actually backdashed so he wouldn't get hit by the, uh, the jump in there. And we see the vomit coming out. Wow, oh, good so he jumped there. over. Great yeah, he side. jumped over the fireball. Recognized that Laura wanted to back up and use her powerful fireballs. Jumped right over it and just smacked her in the face. Very, very effective. Okay. Oh, see, there we got the, oh, the very got close. The yeah, we got the heavy punch. We just didn't get the cancel into the uh, the medium punch bolt. the target yeah. combo to punish. Yeah, and Daka's kind of going to town on, oh wow. So Bacon wasn't uh, blocking from there. Get a CA finish from, from uh, Daka as he takes game two. Uh, Laura was too preoccupied by the puke and wasn't blocking high for the jump in and that'll lead to a stun. Some pretty, uh, um, some pretty uh, uh, um, impressive uh, uh, offense from Daka, um, kind of being relentless and um, uh, taking advantage of Bacon Bolt's uh, new character, um, familiar with the, the way that that character does defense yet, and they are very different uh, since Bacon normally uses Chun-Li. Chun-Li uh, has an invincible move for defense, Laura does not, so uh, Laura definitely worked weaker on defense, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, great jump in combo there. It looks like he's got his jump uh, jump in combos down. He just needs to uh, um, make sure that his combos on the ground are kind of similar. What's the, what's the punish on those block slash dashes? I haven't seen yeah. more. So, so the slant slash dashes, he's got to go for a lighter move because it, it is it is punishable, but you got to use a quicker move. So like a light punch would definitely punish it there. Light punch into light punch bolt. Um, yeah, so lo looks like uh, Doc is definitely using a lot of these... Uh, be trigger two fireball. Wow! Oh, it didn't get the didn't get the conversion off of the puke. Yeah. yeah, he canceled he canceled into DP too late, and Bacon was able to punish him for it. Yeah, Bacon takes the stage. Oh, landed the jump in, but didn't convert. Yeah, that was that was kind of an odd sequence. Didn't punish the the DP again there, but we are seeing okay. Oh, a ton of counters, I just... Uh, yeah, a lot of counter hits, a lot of buttons being mashed right now. Yeah. It was a good use of the... Oh, there I think that was an accidental command grab there, but it, it worked as a punish regardless. And uh, yeah, uh, Doc is, wow, very smart sweep under the fireball. It was a good trade for Laura because she has the life lead, and uh, Bacon Bolts is going to take it. Very, very smart, very smart use of the EX bolt to armor through anything that Daka might put out. And uh, the, the sweep on the trade to, uh, to trade with a fireball was very, very good. Because she took less damage and she had a higher life. So she'll take that any day of the week. Yeah, yeah, that's just good uh, game sense there, knowing to, to play, play for the trade when you have that lead. Seeing a lot. Oh wow, DP, I and mean, still no punish. Well, a little, a little bit. Of you, you get a little punish, but but there's there's a lot of damage being left on the table, so so it's not uh, disincentivizing Daka to uh, um, to do these DPs. Yeah, um, with, with with people that are DP heavy, you really gotta like drill it into them. You will not DP, or I will kill you. Um, until it no longer becomes an option for them, and then you can really condition them into kind of doing whatever you want them to do. Okay, okay. Got to get in their head a little bit. Make it, oh! Oh, oh Steve, yeah. but it missed. Oh! <laughs> that missed too, and she could punish it. She didn't punish it. She didn't punish the CA. Oh! Oh, so, so sad.
lot of a lot of uh, uh, flubbage happening on both sides here. We see the double critical art come out, and uh, Laura's did not hit because of the command grab, and Nikali was in the air. Um, but uh, Haka was unable to uh, um, confirm, uh, yeah. confirm it. Yeah, he, he wasn't able to combo it. Um, we're seeing some good. Man, Laura's jumping a lot, and we aren't really seeing any anti airs coming out from. Um, uh, loves, loves the DP, um, but but he's got to remember that that's not the only D, uh, that's not the only anti air that Nakali has. Nakali has a decent anti air jab. Um, it's it's not as good as it was in the earlier season, but it's still decent. And he does have the crouching heavy punch, which can also be a good anti air. Um, oh, that's good. And uh, there to get, get the block into the vomit. That was. Yeah. I think that was pretty intentional. Vomit is a really good. Oh, and we actually see the first command grab from Nakali coming out. Very good tool. Oh. Random yeah, CA, punish it. There we go. Yeah. All right. Just needs a little on the CA this time. Bacon has definitely learned his lesson. Yeah. Punish sweep. Not the not the uh, not the full punish, but still decent damage. I would say something I, I do like is they've both been using a fair amount of meter. Uh, um, yeah, that's the good thing. And, and and you can tell that kind of the difference in matches between uh, the last first fight we saw and this one is uh, they're definitely using their 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 meter effectively. And uh, it, it's, it's very important because, um, you know, EX moves are so powerful in this game and supers are very good in this game. And if you're not using them, you're just not taking advantage of all the tools your character has to offer. Oh wow, what an insane combo from uh, from Daka there. Wow, oh, and the cross up. Cross up, see, okay, what happened there, the, the vomit actually hit on the other side because Nikali crossed under Laura, so uh, Bacon didn't know how to block it, um, which is very, very tricky by Daka to kind of dash under Laura as she was jumping kind through. And I think Daka's doing a pretty good job of adapting is, to uh, uh, Laura because Bacon, has been jumping over every time he sees Daka start to, to and so when you see something that consistent that means you can adapt to it and you can punish it yourself right and then so it's going to be up to Bacon to change now and have to switch his strategy around very good um you can't just do the puke point blank like that you can get punished <laughs> looks like an accidental uh, uh uh um heavy bolt there but it does work out I would like to see him use it more as an anti-air because it's so good as an anti-air. Um, just does a ton of damage and, and, and ow. We really see the fireball game coming out from Nikali, a character not normally known from his fireball game, but uh, uh, Doc is playing him a little bit kind of like Scott. We, you, got the, you got the low fireball with the puke and the high fireball with the V trigger too. And a uh, very interesting thing about Nikali is that uh, his V-Trigger is the only one in the game that just doesn't go away. Um, you can kind of look at both of their V-Trigger bars, and oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Daka's going to take it with a random sweep, but uh, yeah, uh, Nikali's V-Trigger, once you activate it, it just stays there for the rest of the match. Um, so kind of an advantage he has over all of the other characters who uh, have limited V-Triggers. Yeah, I think a lot of this is maybe, you know, we've got that first game where Bacon kind of rolled over. Oh, and then, he didn't, he didn't I think there might have been unfamiliarity on Daka's part with just what Laura can do. Now he's had a couple couple matches with uh, playing against him. He's kind of seen what he can do, what he can get away with, what he can't. That, and, wow, good double dash. With the puke, is conditioning Bacon to block, right? Because he wants to yeah. avoid the puke. So the double dash throw is a very, very smart. I would also like to see some more command throws in the same situation because they're, they're, they do more damage. Wow, good jump actually from the air to air good recognition there and uh, wow solid jump in bacon doesn't block high and a uh, doc is gonna take it so we're seeing a very nice uh turnaround from daka here um yeah well that's three to two i believe yeah yeah three to two yeah so daka's gonna come out ahead um he was losing a little bit in the beginning um uh, a lot of these uncontested jumps from bacon but uh, he's making the adjustments um he's kind of being a little bit more patient he's being a little bit less crazy with the dps uh, which is allowing Bacon to get less free damage on him as a result. Um, I would like to see more anti airs He's doing a lot of air to airing, which is which is good, um, but uh, uh, it doesn't do quite as much damage as uh, a lot of the good anti airs Okay, that that yeah, that target combo isn't uh, uh, isn't safe. Good throw. 
That's very a, good combo there. That's a great huge chunk of damage there. That's a great look at that. Oh, DP. Very smart DP. Uh, knew that, that uh, Bagan probably wasn't going to have the meaty. Yeah, the character unfamiliarity showing up here. Oh! Gets the grab. That, the, yeah, the, the, the dropped combo on the heavy punch, you can't combo it like that because the crumple state caused by the puke actually puts them airborne. So, so the, the DP won't hit there. Um, and uh, Bacon definitely taking advantage of that. Almost a full combo from that crush counter. Um, very good crush counter by Nikali, but we're seeing an unpunished sweep here, but Laura's just kind of jumping like a madman, and uh, Nikali really needs to be able to start doing DPs, either uh, uh, light or, uh, e or EX. Oh, oh wow. Through, and too. a heavy punch into CA, and it works out. The buffer definitely helps him in his favor. Talking there, or it might have been the end for uh, Doc in that round, but uh, Laura does still have full resources here. Um, so we're gonna see if uh, she can use that to her advantage. But knowing that, oh, get the, gets the oh, side on the vomit. This is very, this is very, very close. The, the issue is, it can does. Oh, it, the, he baited out. He baited out the Matsuda sway, the V trigger too, and and sweeped to punish. Very, very smart by Daka. And you see a lot of these, uh, this uh, character uh, unfamiliarity coming out because um, Bacon's unable to use his meter, to, uh, his uh, V-Trigger and his uh, critical art meter to, uh, to full advantage with his character. And uh, that's the main reason why uh, he couldn't make that comeback there. Yeah. I was, I was hard for, I mean, I was kind of rooting for Bacon. I guess I should stay impartial. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm completely uh, uh, partial. I'm, I'm, I'm biased as shit, so... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm, yeah, so, kind of I'm, I'm rooting for Bacon right now just because he doesn't have the life lead and because I love Laura. Oh, but the overhead from um, Daka coming in and uh, uh, take closing the round. Wins. Overhead's so, so good when your opponent's low on health. And when your opponent is having to constantly block low to deal with those yeah, vomits, too. Exactly. And uh, I mean, so, so you don't actually need to block the vomit low, you can block it low or high. Uh, oh. But uh, even though it kind of it, it's kind of deceiving, right? Because it's Round it's traveling on the ground, so you would think that uh, 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 you would think that 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 it would be it would be low. But no, you can block it either or. Um, but he has been using a lot of sweeps and a lot of crouching medium kicks, which does condition the Lord to block low. And you want to be blocked low by default, uh, uh, anyways. So he just Doctor took advantage of that, got the overhead, yeah. and Bacon couldn't really, really, yeah. Yeah, that V skill is very good. Um, it's also an overhead. Wink up like, the XP. Yeah, of course, the classic. And uh, it, it hits Bacon Bolts, who wants to press buttons on his uh, uh, on his opponents. Wow, and see, you can just see him tagging with lows. Now, he's not converting into the stomp, which is what a lot of the college uh, uh, do. Wow, good air to air coming out from Laura and stealing around. Very, very good. Yeah, because this is Laura's on uh, yeah. match point. Yeah. So. That, Laura's V skill one is an overhead, so I would like to see uh, uh, Bacon using it more offensively um, when he thinks that his opponent isn't going to block. The 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 bad part is, oh, that's a link from the from the standing medium kick. Very good link from Bacon, and it's actually gonna combo. Wow, wow, wow. Very good link. Oh, oh on it. Push on the DP. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good overhead. Kind of reset in the middle of the combo. Okay. Let's see if let's see if uh, uh, Doc can make this comeback. I'm I'm cheering for Doc now because he's the underdog. Oh, but that uh, crouching medium punch is so good from Laura, and it's gonna take the round. That was so, a yeah. beat down to break for Laura to bring it back to four to three in this first of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so three to four. It's it's very close. I'm liking both of these matches. Um, but yeah, like like I was saying, I, I would like to see Bacon use uh, uh, the V skill as an overhead more to kind of open Daka up. The problem is Daka's so DP happy that like he's usually not going to be blocking, so he so Bacon can't really use the uh, the overhead effectively a lot. So what he needs to do is he, he needs to condition um, uh, he needs to condition Daka by just hitting the shit out of him and every time he DPs, punishing him for him until Daka stops DPing, until Daka learns his lesson. Then you could open, start opening them up with grabs and overheads. 
Oh, that was. But see, we're this. This is a this is a slug fest if I've ever seen one. Everyone's jumping. Everyone's doing all their moves. No one's blocking. Blocking's for suckers. Uh, and uh, yeah, and we're we're saying, oh, but see, like like I said, the jump out from the corner. You've always got to be watching out for that. Like, cause Bacon's first first uh, uh, thought in his head was, I'm fucking terrified in this corner. I've got to get out. Um, and uh, uh, because he was able to jump over him, that puts Nikali in the corner, so he's immediately switched out the situation, which is the worst case scenario in a case like that. So you really have to watch out for it every time. Yeah. Now this is this is a slug fight. This is my favorite kind of. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. He's, they're, they're just going. Oh wow. Very very good target combo from Laura. Uh, confirmed after the uh, the forward. Wow. Oh, scrambly, it's definitely scrambly. Oh, now he could have DP'd there. That doesn't hit. The 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 the, the super, even though it's a command grab, it uh um, they were still in hit stun, so it won't actually combo. Or they're still in block stun rather, and you can't be grabbed while you're in block stun. And oh. uh, uh, Bacon's actually gonna punish the uh, the sweep, and that's gonna lead to the round. Uh, Nikali also uh, doing his uh, CA on block. So yeah, I mean, so so command grabs, uh, uh, you cannot grab someone who is in block stun. Um, that rule uh, is there to prevent um, stuff like unblockables, um, which is why uh, Street Fighter V doesn't have true unblockables. Fun fact. Okay. The more you know. Yep, yep. The sauce and hodgepodge. So, yeah, the sauce and hodgepodge. Yeah, so so if he wants to use that super as a grab, he has to do it from uh, lighter moves that don't put them in as much block stun. The problem is he used a heavy, and uh, heavies have more block stun than lights, so uh, Nikali was in a ton, ton of block stun. But we're seeing the slugfest continue here. The puke's coming across the ground. Now, I don't know if Bacon knows this, but if you just back up and wait for a, little, for a second, the uh, the puke does go away. So I would he like does, to see... He knows that. Okay. I'm, I'm confident he knows that. Yeah, so I'd like to see a little bit more patience on his part. Um, he's getting hit by the puke a lot, and every time you get hit by the puke, it crumples you and lets him full combo you. Oh, wow. Very, very smart EXDP there. He knew it was going to be a scramble situation. Decided to DP for the win, baby. Very, very smart. Okay. Again, we don't see these anti-airs coming out from DACA. And one thing that I'm noticing too is a lot of times when uh, Laura will jump, he'll actually V-trigger. And that's very good because since the V-trigger uh, um, blocks your, uh, or since the V-Trigger freezes time, it allows you to anti-air people easier because you have that extra moment to put it in. But yeah. he also, take advantage of that. I think it's also, he's done it several times, and I think it's messed up for Laura's timing on the yeah, it, 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 that, That's the other thing that it does. And so, but Daka isn't taking full advantage of it. What he should be doing is V-Trigger on reaction, then get your free DP since Laura's stuck in the air. But he hasn't been doing the DP uh, on, on, uh, oh. oh wow, he blocked the overhead. Okay. Just a light, just a light button, hit a light button, slap him. Right. Oh. <laughs> slap, slap. If, that okay, is punishment. That has to be it, that has to be the punishment. EX, that EX dash, it does have some armor on it, so Daka was probably thinking that he could beat through, uh, uh, some of what Laura was doing, but it is very punishable on block. As we head into the last stage of this first to five, who's gonna take it? Uh, I'm really, I'm liking Laura at the last, the way she, Laura's been playing the last, I don't know, two, two rounds has been pretty, pretty impressive. Especially for, I think, I don't know, it's not his first time with Laura, but it's, it's, it's new. And Doc has been playing Nikali for like six months, so, uh, he, he took a brief, oh, that's blocked. Oh, Doc, no. Oh, well, yeah, uh, Daka's been playing, or Vork here has been playing uh, Nikali since like January. So he took a brief break to play some Kage. Uh, but this is, this is a great showing from Bacon Bolts to, to put Daka on match point. Oh man, the life totals are getting so low. Oh, the jump in, he blocked low, he didn't block high. No, Bacon. Nikali wins. Poor guy. I bet you there is some trash talk going on in that Discord channel right now, I bet.
Oh man, there is there is some trash talk going on down there. That's GG. That's to get our second game finished. Now we're getting the third match set up. Uh, um, hey, sorry, I uh, I had an internet. My head farted for a second. It's all good. But uh, congrats. Um, yeah, uh, congrats to uh, Adaka for taking it. Um, Bacon's definitely got to block those jump ins. Uh, uh, got to block them high. He got a lot of free damage off of that. But congrats to both players. Um, I love uh, seeing the ignorance and the, uh, the, the uh, a lot of DPs coming out from Daka. Um, very, very fun to watch. Yeah, as, well, as one of our other casters likes to put it, you get, you get to see the learning live yeah. as people adjust to the, to the new stuff. It was, it was a good amount of adaptation. So here we have 